Françoise Mukase started her farm with one cow through the One Cow Per Family program, locally known as Jiringa. Now she's one of the top dairy farmers in Rwanda's eastern province. At some point, her herd had grown to 45 cows, and with limited land, she was forced to sell some and purchase more land for expansion. She remained with 18. She produces over 120 liters of milk daily, enabling her to invest in land and her children's education. My cows produce plenty of milk. Each of the six cows yields at least 40 liters daily. I reserve some for home use and sell over 120 liters every day. Mukase was speaking at the launch of the 54.1 million US dollar Inyanja milk powder plant located in Nyagatari, Eastern Rwanda in July. The plant will focus on producing skimmed milk powder at 80%, whole milk powder at 20%, ghee, butter, and UHT products. The factory has a capacity to process 50,000 liters per hour and is designed to process 650,000 liters per day, which would give 42 tons of powder per day. Rwanda was on track to meet its 2023-2024 target of over 1.2 million tons of milk. Milk production has steadily grown from 121,400 tons in 2005 to almost 900,000 tons in 2020. This additional plant is expected to boost milk exports while generating over 6.6 .6 million US dollars monthly to farmers and supporting the local market. Uh, this new milk powder plant will increase milk processing capabilities, meet local demand, and boosting, boosting export potential. This new powder milk plant paid nearly a million US dollars to farmers from April to June, and they will receive financial support from partner banks. Despite 74% growth in milk production, farmers in Rwanda's east face challenges with water access, feed and roads. The Rwandan government is urging dairy farmers to increase production with the government planning infrastructure improvement to boost dairy sector.